Hello, so we are back. And this time, we have a package here. I haven't opened yet. I'll open now. I believe it's something interesting. Something very interesting. Come from China. What do you think is here? Hmm? What do you think is here? You don't know, right? Uh, you must be crazy to do something like that. Wow. Wow. Ta-da! It's a chipset. It's an Intel chipset. Let me see if I can focus. No? Yeah. It's a brand new chipset. Now, for what is this chipset? Yeah? Let me show you. You, sh you should remember the video. You should remember the video. So you remember this video with this laptop with the uh, with, uh, real-time clock voltage was held down by the chipset, and the chipset was getting warm on one corner. However, when I try with the power supply to supply that 3.3, like suddenly, the everything was fine. I mean, the chipset stopped taking power and was working like one day. One day, I, I write here on the on the description. The next day, the chipset died again. And when I try again the trick with the power supply, uh, the chipset uh, got shorted. Okay. So what do we have to do now? Is to replace the chipset. Of course, we don't have tools to replace our chipset. Of course, we don't have. <laughs> so this is will be insane. I mean. To try replacing a chipset with uh, with a normal hot air uh, machine, this will be insane. But we have to do it. Yeah, we have to do it. So I ordered on that point. I ordered the chipset. I spoke with a customer. The chipset is expensive. So this one was like forty pound. And uh, finally, after like three weeks, the chipset arrived. So let me grab the laptop and uh, let's start replacing it. Okay. So what is the plan? The plan is like that. We are preheating the board in the front of the heater because we don't have a preheater here. Then we're going to remove the chipset from the top. Yeah. Okay, all good, yeah? Good. Then clean the solders and then come with the heat from the back. And here is bad because we have a chip here. So I'll try somehow to isolate this chip to not burn it. And uh, solder the new chipset. Now, what can go wrong? Most likely, this it will go wrong. So, I mean, are more chances to go wrong instead of have a working uh, board. The first of all, using the heat from the back, so you have to use probably max temperature, and uh, you have a chance the board can bubble. You know, you hit the board and boom, and you see a bubble. And it's end of story. Then, what can go wrong? Uh, a lot of things can go wrong, including if the chipset is soldered properly, it will not work. So very possible we have to extract the BIOS and do a clean uh, ME in order to work. But yeah, it's uh, this is this is you know, did I solder those kind of big chips before? Yes, with a normal solder iron. Yes, I did. And I even uh, solder a chip, probably this side, an NVIDIA chip without uh, reboiling, and it was working. Of course, after that I try again with 10 different uh, NVIDIA chips and didn't work. But you know, this, that's not the point. So it is a risky job, it is. But the most risky part is actually the chip is coming from China. We don't know if it's good. <laughs> So that's the thing, even if we are soldering the chip right, very possible it will not work because we don't know if the chip is good. I mean, what from where do you think they have those kind of chips? From like faulty boards, right? If they have a good board, they will not desolder the chipset. Okay? 
So let's start. I will uh, preheat the board first and uh, let's see after that. Yeah. Okay, let's start cleaning the, the glue around the chip. Okay, by the way, by the way, uh, I didn't show you what happened. The chip exploded. Uh, basically, the chip smoked here from this hole. You see here? Well, this is a hole here. There. That's what happened with this uh, chipset. But at least I know the, the board is good, so the only problem is the chipset. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's take out the ship. Now I'm really sorry if the quality will not be that great. But I really need a better quality on what I see. Now let's use some flux. I will use the Wharton flux. Reflections? We need reflections? No, right? No. Okay, let's do it. We have like 480 degrees here. And like 60% air. It's proper hot. The thing is that we have only one chance here. We don't have a second chance. The trucks are all fine, right? We didn't broke any trucks, right? Okay, the chip position, good. So we remove the old chipset. We remove the old chipset. Looks cool, right? So many solder balls there. Now cleaning the solders. I'm trying to avoid that. And you didn't see me on my videos working with a uh, with a weak wire because uh, you know any mistake it will cost you a truck or a pad. Yeah, you know what I mean. You are rubbing metal against metal. <laughs> It's not a good idea. It's not a great idea. Flux, more flux. We need flux. A lot of flux. Good. Now we need solder wire. Lot of solder wire. Good. That's good, that's great. Mm. 
Yeah, the temperature is dropping down on the board. It looks good, right? Good. Now let's take out the let's take out the solder completely. Yeah, the new chip has solder balls. So on a chip that big, you don't want uh, you don't want uh, solder on the pads when you put the chip, the new chip, because it will slide next to the pad. Yeah, it will never be on the pad. So the solder ball from the any solder ball from the chip. It will never be on the pad. It will be next to, yeah? So that's why we have to be sure we don't have solder. Okay, let's clean it and see what we have there. Yeah, I cannot feel anything. Like bumps, like solder on the pads. Okay, so what do you think? Do you see any missing pad? Like pad with solder or something like that? Mm -hmm. Looks fine, right? Yeah. Yeah, looks fine. Yeah, I know. Now is the hard part. Now is the hard part. So the new chip. Okay, the new chip. The chip position is this one, right? Bump. So the chip has to be on this square, right? Right. Good. Don't tell me my chip is cracked. Bro, they sent me a cracked chip. They send me a cracked chip. Yeah, it is cracked. Hmm. Buying cheese from China. Yeah, it is cracked. Let me take a picture because, uh, you know, this is sick. This is crazy. No, you know what? I will not take any picture. 
if I take picture and uh, send it back to the seller, I can't test it and I want to test it. You know, maybe it's good. Maybe they, they are right. Maybe they, you know, they said uh, those are tested. Okay, so that's the old one. And the old one is perfect, yeah? Apart from that burn there, where the chip actually exploded. And the new one, freaking cracked on the corner. Well, maybe it will work. Maybe it will work. You see, exactly what I told you, buying chips from China. Okay. Maybe the Chinese guy is, uh, is fair and he tests the chip and indeed works with that crack. Yeah? Let's heat up the board again. I will heat up the board and let's solder the, the chipset. I will use a thermal pad over the chip. I mean the solder balls looks fine. Yeah. I will use a thermal pad over the chip because I don't want to burn the chip. Just to be sure, my chip is cold. My chip. When I say my chip, it's actually the capsule. But I'm kind of disappointed already. You know what I mean? And I will upload this video just to you know just to be quite careful and check the chip as soon as you get it yeah I want my uh, capsule of the chip to be cold, to be cold, <laughs> the temperature to be lower. Now I will uh, do it on the on the on this side of the table, and I will come with the heat from the back. Like how I said. So the chipset is here. It's exactly here. Let me cover the cover this ch chips with something. I mean, it's tricky. Even to cover them is tricky because the components can uh, slide. As soon as they get uh, to the melting point, the solder can slide uh, under the the captain tape, and that it will suck. So not sure what should I do. I should try with lower temperature. Because uh, 480 it's a risk for the board to bubble. Here. Good flux, yeah, a lot of flux. We need a lot of flux. Good, right? Good. Now the chipset.
clean clean the chipset position Well, if the chipset is running away when trying to solder, that will be, you know, Good. Now let's get rid of the reflections, right? Okay. Now let's come with the heat from the back. Bro, what the hell is this? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? This it will not work, but I will solder the chip because I, I don't even remember I bought it new or second hand. Let me check. What the hell is this? It's freaking insane. Rebold. Good working. Okay, if it's good working, let's test it.
Huh? I can see the flux bubbling. The solder. I believe it is. I believe it is solder. Let me lower the temperature. Yeah, the chipset is is moving. Yeah, it's older. It's older properly in place. The other side of the board. It's looking good. Okay, no issue here. So everyone is curious if it's working. I mean, what are the odds for this ship to be working? Hmm? What do you all think? So, uh, what chance do you have? You have a chance to send the ship back. It will take probably like one month. Then they will send you another one back, another one mount, and uh, you're not sure if that one is good, right? Okay, let's test this one. First, yeah, let's check if our, uh, if, but no, let's check with the charger, yeah? If our real-time clock voltage is present, but let's check with the... Uh, with everything, yeah. Yeah, where is the power button? Is here on this corner, right? Yeah. So plug in the charger, and we have the light. That's a good start. The 3.3 is present. Let's see. If I remember, the 3.3 was here. 3.3. Ah, we do have 3.3. Pressing the power button. This ship is cold. Cold, cold. 
it's restarting because probably the way reset the BIOS. No, it's keep restarting. Is keep restarting. Is keep restarting. Three point three. I do have voltage on the chip, but the chip is cold, like cold, cold, and it's not supposed to be like that. We do have one volt on the chip. Well, this end of story. I did reflow the chip one more time and it's doing exactly the same. So the chip is dead. I mean, from the beginning, you see the chip is cold, like, you know, freezing cold. You know, that chip is interrupted. Yeah. It's not drawing any power. Uh, what can I say? It's nothing that I can do. I open a case, a return case, so probably I will, uh, probably I will uh, try to return the chip if I can. But you know, this uh, you have to be careful when you buy this kind of chips because they're expensive, are not new, and you can have a surprise like this one. <coughs> I'm properly disappointed. I mean, I should stop. I should not even solder the chip. Uh, so this chip said ruined my day. And you know what? The customer asked me yesterday. Uh, sorry, what about my chip? My chip arrived and I said, you know what? This is a tracking number. The picture should be here soon. So the chip arrived today. And... <laughs> yeah okay guys i would say thank you for watching i'm really sorry i cannot carry this job and you know in this case i'm proper sure it's only the chipset like you know for most of the cases okay you see a shorter chipset you don't know what it is you're not sure if it's only the chipset but in this case i know for sure it's only the chipset Okay, so see you on the next one. Bye.